Hey, so I just got out of the gym and I'm catching up on news from uh, last night, the Iowa caucus. And, uh, oh my God, I don't care what side you're on, Republican, Democrat, Independent, Communist, Socialist, you know, what a Mao say Tong party. Um, you have to admit, this is a clown show. I mean, seriously, they got, they've had three years to get a stupid caucus right and they've impeached the president. They've done endless, just basically wasted three years in Congress and uh, in the party, you know, the, the Democrat party, doing whatever, working for themselves, not working for the people, because clearly, if they were working for the people, they could have got a freaking election or a, a freaking caucus, right? Anyway, so they develop an app which is like brilliant because people have such a high, uh, high trust in the system so far. We're gonna create an app. It's gonna be created by a company called Shadow. That seems legit. That's funded by Hillary and was donated to by Buddha Judge. Okay, if that's not bad enough, the app crashes because I think if it didn't crash, Bernie would have won. I mean, I don't think he would have won by much, but uh, Bernie would have won. And that, uh, you know. So anyway, the app crashes. The caucuses are in disarray. Nobody knows what's going on. Buddha Judge at like 12.30 p a.m. after midnight tweets some cryptic, you know, the people got it right. Well, what the hell does he know that we don't know? I mean, I mean, it's bad enough that he, you know, he partly developed this app or donated towards the development of this app. But now apparently Buddha Judge, butt judger, knows uh, something that everybody else doesn't. So, what a clown show. I mean, if you're a Democrat, how in the world do you have any faith in your party? I mean, I'm not saying you got to do one thing or the other. I, do what you want. But whole, at this point, after three years and, and this, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know how you're not like a political atheist at this point. There is no God in your party. There is, there is like, there's, I don't even know what's going on over there. But, uh. Anyway, beyond that clown show, um, I was looking at Bernie's internal polling. Um, apparently his people, you know, kept pretty good. I mean, I, I have no reason to doubt his data. I'm sure it's a little bit off, but I mean, you know, it's the closest thing we have at this point because we got nothing. Um, Bernie won by a little bit, um, but basically it's a three-way race um, between Warren, Buttigieg, and Bernie. Um, Klobuchar, Klo, I don't even know how to say her name, Klobuchar, um, is not far behind. Uh, also Biden, which, you know, Biden's a whole nother story. Like, the dude had three weeks to himself in Iowa. Um, couldn't fill a two-car garage. And basically did nothing but argue and make out with his granddaughter the entire time. So, you know, I mean, how is he, he's not a, to me, he's not a viable candidate. If you're, if you're a Biden person, you better be thinking about plan B and C or hoping Hillary runs in the race or something or, you know, Michelle Obama or Oprah or somebody because uh, Biden is not going to win. He's not. He's just not. Um, he's going to stay close and probably do well in a couple states in the southeast and uh, he's going to get freaking clobbered in the other three quarters of the United States. Um... In uh, the runner-up to the got screwed category, uh, Andrew Yang. Actually, no, no, no. T Tulsi Gabbard. Um, man, somebody really does not like her. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure why. She's probably the most level-headed of any of them. Uh, you know, she's not a wackadoodle like Bernie. Um, not a complete moron like Andrew Yang. Uh, not a bitter little gremlin like uh, Buddha Judge. And uh, not a freaking crazy ass off her rocker liar like Elizabeth Warren. But, uh, you know, somebody doesn't like her. She got 0% of 0% last night, according to Bernie's internal polling. 
So anyway, we'll see if she pops back in. Uh, Steyer is a joke. Uh, he was a waste of time. Um, and can we all just agree that Andrew Yang is a freaking gigantic joke at this point? I mean, the guy, you know, I'm going to give away money to the, you know, that guy. That, that's not realistic. That's not even like remotely whatever. He got 9% or nine, nine delegates or whatever out of, you know, a thousand, he's, he's done. Um, if you voted or if you, uh, donated to Andrew Yang, if you're part of the Yang gang, I'm sorry, your candidate was a snake oil salesman and a complete joke. So if you're Buddha judge, uh, Bernie Warren, you're probably pretty confident about what's going on. Um, Biden and Klobuchar or whatever her name is, uh, you're not probably feeling all that great. And if you're Yang, you're a dork and a moron. If you're Tulsi, you're probably pretty pissed. So, I mean, that's where we're at. Uh, I don't know. The official results might come out. Um, I don't know. They might never. I mean, at this point, I don't even know that they, the, Demo the DNC is not going to admit that Bernie won. Um, even if he didn't win by much, I mean, you could look at him and say, oh, he's barely, a, he, he barely squeaked out a win, you know, above Buttigieg, who's a, another, you know, kind of complete joke, a far left, unelectable, you know, crazy guy. Um, in, in a, I mean, look at his record in Gary, Indiana, or Hammond, Indiana, wherever the hell he was uh, a mayor. I mean, it's like a freaking shithole. But, you know, yeah, he, let's, let's put him in charge of the country. He did so well in his little corner of the world. But, uh, anyway, I mean, that's, that's where it is. But I, you know, I honestly, man, I wouldn't be surprised if, if the results never come out. Um, the DNC is going to put someone else in, um, you know, maybe Hillary. She's looking for revenge. She'll lose again, but, uh, whatever. Bernie's going to have to run third party. He, they're, they're never going to give him the nomination. Uh, I don't know if anybody remembers last year at the, uh, the DNC, Bernie came out freaking sweating bullets, looked like he had a black eye, um, and, uh, you know, threw his support behind Hillary. You know, he basically, you know, in my opinion, you know, he got roughed up. They told him he was going to do what they want or else, and he did it. And uh, unless he runs third party, he's going to have to do it again this time. I mean, he's, uh, they're not going to, they're not going to give him the, 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 the nomination. So unless he does it third party. Uh, it's going to be somebody else. Hopefully not Buttigieg. Uh, actually, I don't really care who it is, but uh, I dislike Buttigieg a lot. Um, I'm not a Republican. I'm more of a conservative independent, but, uh, you know, Buttigieg, I don't like him at all. He's just an angry guy who hates middle-class Christian America, and, uh, you know, whatever. He can go sit on a pole in... Uh, in Indiana or wherever the hell he's from. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, uh, let me know down below if we, uh, if we get some results or any more of this nonsense. Maybe I'll get on and rant about it some more. But uh, anyway, take care, guys. Have a good day.